Hey guys, welcome back to some more City Skylines, and oh man, is this going to be good. So, um, since last episode, I've gone ahead, taken your suggestions, and we got a bunch of new mods. I actually didn't realize how much like the mod landscape changed since the last time I added mods to this game. Uh, so yeah, we got Traffic++, Plus Plus, we got Traffic Manager, uh, we also got Enhanced Zoom. Let me know actually what you think about Enhanced Zoom, because while it does let us zoom out like this, it does have some pretty weird bugs i mean the camera goes directly off the edge of cliffs so if we go like here you see this it like drops directly off the cliff actually a better example would be like over here see how this fully drops off the cliff so like therefore if you're scrolling over here it's like really jaggy as it goes up and down the cliffs so let me know what you think about that um if it's kind of weird and you want to remove it or no if we should keep it so yeah just let me know we'll keep it for this episode and let me know for next episode but anyway yeah we have so many new mods we have um traffic plus plus traffic manager we also got the mod that ryan suggested which was the um improved public transport which we'll actually get into in this episode um and basically what this lets us do is change the capacity of buses and um also trains, planes, anything you want. And also let's change the number of them on a particular line. So if you take a look at this line, for example, um, I actually reduced the number of vehicles on this line. There used to be 14, but what we can do, we can remove vehicle. We can go down to seven or we can add them back up. So they're at nine like it was before. Um, so yeah, that's definitely cool. And actually, why does it tell us new vehicle in one second? I don't know what that means. I guess that just means, but yeah, as you can see here, like this now holds, if we can manage to click on it, 76 people. And the one after it, oh, actually that one got off the line, I think. Let's see if we can find one. Where are they all at? Okay, here's one. See four people. So, I mean, problem with the buses in this game is, it's actually not this game, it's real life. Um, it's that they bunch up like a ton but that's just nothing that's nothing we can there's nothing we can do about that but we can definitely remove some buses like from some very underused lines like a good example hmm, where was it it was somewhere down here it was actually this oops see that's another enhanced zoom bug this teal line over here it currently has two buses serving it um and it used to have four and even two is way overkill like we might as well drop it down to one and that's just for realism's sake. Um, I think it might make a difference to the budget too. We'll have to investigate into that. But yeah, the line thing is just kind of some micromanagement we could do. Uh, moving on, we also have traffic plus plus, as I said, which gives us some new roads and a lot more, like a lot of other different cool things we can do um, with our roads. Like we can change the lanes. We could do so many things. Anyway, uh, so we could also micromanage the trains, buses, everything, we'll get to that. Um, but something really cool, a very cool idea that was suggested in the comments on the last episode was to build a very central transport hub over in here. Now I can see I already got started on this, and this was, I can't speak, this was because um, I just recorded, actually, some city skylines. And actually we can make this look a lot nicer. I actually just recorded some city skylines, but the thing is, I um, I messed with my computer a bit yesterday, um, which meant that, what did I do? Oh yeah, I ended up unplugging my microphone, and then when I plugged it back in, my recording software <laughs> automatically switched to something else to record audio with, since so obviously my microphone wasn't plugged in anymore. And then I ended up recording everything, the audio, um with a microphone that didn't exist or well it tried to record off like hdmi or something but obviously i have no sound input on hdmi because my graphics card doesn't have a microphone so um yeah no sound so i had to redo it which is what i'm doing now but i did build this very cool thing where um the idea here is so let's get filled in so this is what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be building this transport hub and it should be very very cool um, so 
yeah that's like the first of the big projects and next we can move on to an airport over here i have so many ideas for the city now that we've got all these mods should be very cool another thing i want to do um beautify the city like we have there's so many park assets in the in the workshop so i want to just kind of add trees add parks add pathways just make it re look really nice and like lush realistic i don't know just i'm throwing random adjectives here but i want to make it look a lot better and not just by spamming basketball courts or whatever so that should be a cool thing to work towards as well but for now let's uh concentrate on this so here we have a basic highway interchange which just leads off into this small road here with the loop and it has a big stupid hand zoom has a big amount of parking over here oh we can actually go into first person and take a look at it so it has all this parking over here available to people and um uh, this is the only place they're gonna be able to park if they wish to come to this transport hub otherwise they can come here using buses or um or trains or subway i guess if we decide to implement that in here but yeah that's the idea for the transport hub um so this is the only place they can go it's the only car accessible place and then they're going to um where is it that's what i'm looking for actually let's put in a oops not that Oh, can we... Mm, didn't consider that. Is it in any way possible? Okay, why is that also lighter? Why is that a lighter shade of red? I don't know. It's probably a little bug you know you know what we can actually redo this road there's no reason not to i don't want it to be um non-uniform okay yeah so here's what you can do you can start off the road here and turn it like that leaving space for um trains and stuff to get by there because it'll be necessary and then we'll go down this mountain with the bus line and it'll lead into the transport hub here, where, um, again, the only, it's just, this is just going to be an express route, just from there directly to here and back. And um, that will be the only way to enter the uh, transportation hub. Well, obviously, besides getting there with other transport. So, um, yeah, so what we can now do is go ahead and start building a kind of transport hub hub ish thing so i figured if we use the pedestrian roads i think that'd be very cool so um okay so the buses are going to need some sort of way to get out and I figure they could get out through here. Like they could either come there and we'll build a bridge or tunnel underneath or across to the other side. And then they could also come in from there. Um, they can come out and the other way too. So I don't think that's a big issue of how the buses will get out. And also we can build a bridge across directly to that main road over there and connect up. Um, so I don't think that's a big issue. So therefore, I think we can go ahead I'm actually wondering how these guys will transfer over. Well, actually, okay, let's get let's get it as this let's get this as kind of an exclusive bus line. So let's get the okay. I'm kind of indecisive here, but let's get this. Let's leave ample room for zoning. So let's get this to come down here. And that will go across like so. And then that means that this um, bus lane thing
can start from there and just connect up like that. Let's just kind of fix the... There we go. Okay, perfect. So... Yeah, why is this... Why is some of it... Okay, that's very strange. Anyway, um, some of it's red, some of it's not. Uh, whatever. So, this is the pedestrian um, road, which means we can zone on it. And therefore, that means we can... Actually, I didn't fully think this through, because buses have to be able to get in here too. Actually, no, this makes sense. Okay, so watch what we'll do. So we'll have... Um, the pedestrian road. We'll leave the default zoning space on either side. And actually, we can get rid of that. And then here, we can do bus lanes. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna work out. Yeah, bus lane to come to there. Bus lane to go there. I believe this is a one way I have created here. I wish this kind of had snapping points. Yeah, that's really weird. Actually, okay, that'll have to do. Okay, so this is where the buses will come in. And actually, we can have it angled like we did on the other ones. Or can we? Actually, no, we. Hmm. Okay, this is gonna prove difficult. Okay, let's let's go with the straight one. It's gonna have to be the straight one, cause it's not gonna work out otherwise. Okay, uh, this is this is gonna be is gonna take a very long time, but it is gonna look very cool, I think, when it's finished. Uh, so let's actually flip that direction. Okay, is that good now? Okay. So then we'll get. Uh, back onto here. I'm trying to make these look regularly spaced. That's not bad. That could be a bit further. Okay, that's actually really good, I think. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So only bus is in there. And then that's just going to connect outside. Using this road. Okay, perfect. So we have that going. And now, actually, should we pause our city? Are there any devastating crises going on? Crises? Crises? I don't know. I think it's crises. Anyway, uh, let's actually pause it so we don't lose population. I don't want to do that. Okay, so here is the bus terminal. And here is where some regional bus lines will connect. So we'll have one going to this transportation hub. We'll have one coming to... Um, I suppose we could do one to the university. Uh, we'll definitely do one to this station down here. Uh, what else? Up here. Um, definitely out to this area, out to the farming, and out to this new area over here. And that's where the buses will um, all join up. 
in here. <clears throat> and then the idea is... Yep. Mm-hmm. Perfect. We can use these things. Those are like bus waiting areas. And nothing will fit in there. So let's go ahead and delete these trees, actually. Okay, so those are bus waiting areas. And then people should be able to just walk straight across. Let's see if we can fill most of this area in. Okay, yeah, that's a bit better. Is that sketchy? No, it's not bad actually. Let's see if we can pave these areas into. And uh, no, those don't really work. Actually, okay, we'll get rid of this. Uh, we can fix it. I know how. There's like some brushes type thing in the workshop, which we can get to fill all of those in with concrete. But yeah, the idea is people can wait here, then they can walk across to the stop they need. Uh, which is going to be on these lanes. And we could actually get them on both sides. There's a way to do that with traffic plus plus. I just forget exactly how. Um, so they can wait at all of these. And then the buses will whisk them off to uh, wherever necessary. And they can, of course, always walk along these paths. And uh, also what we can do is we will build a medical clinic, a fire station, a police station. Uh, into this complex, hopefully tucked in a corner over here somewhere. And uh, that's because the police cars, fire trucks, and other service vehicles can actually walk, uh, sorry, not walk, I guess drive on these paths. Um, but normal cars can't, only pedestrians and service vehicles. Um, so that's just so stuff doesn't burn down and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, okay. So this is looking really good. So actually, we can go ahead and open this to the public. Um, let's go ahead and give it a district name though. I think that'd be cool. If we did this. And we actually need like a legit name for this. I'm going to go with Union for several reasons. First of all, it's unifying all of our other transport hubs and networks. And second of all, it is the name of the station at the bottom of Toronto's kind of U-shaped subway line. It's like the biggest, most popular station in Toronto. So fun fact, it's going to be called Union. It actually meets right there name which is kind of cool anyway uh, so now we could go ahead and get this open to the public by throwing in a thing right there mm-hmm just like so and then we grab a stop that goes from there stops here and just comes back and then we can call this Union Local. That's actually not bad, but that's not exactly the name we're looking for. I wish uh, you could somehow select the lines from in there. Uh, this will be called Union Shuttle. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the Union Shuttle, but I actually realize that there's no way that a bus can actually get on there. So here is the test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually need a bus depot in here. So if we were to, we have lots of money that's not going to affect us. 
if we were to build one right there and just connect those roads. Oh yes, that's actually exactly what I'm looking for. Uh-huh. Look at that. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I have done it. Okay, that is awesome. Okay, that's actually kind of weird. It like went off the road. Let's watch and see what it does over here. You know what? That's okay. Doesn't bother me too much. Um, okay, so these guys all need power, obviously, and water. So we probably should have thought that out first. Uh, we should be able to get power fairly easily across. Okay, you can just kind of follow the bus line like that. These guys should all have power, and let's get them water, of course. Up here, too. And now, this thing is actually officially open for business, sort of. I mean, there's not, there's nowhere to go yet. Um, but we could definitely go ahead and implement the long distance bus lines right now. I actually think we should do like some cleanup of our bus lines. I think, how many are there? 35. There's probably some unnecessary ones. So we could probably go for some cleanup. Um, but we'll leave that to a later time, I think. For now, let's get this to connect up to various places. So I need this to, first of all, Height too high. Uh, that can't be. Okay, well, you know what? Let, for now, let's get it to connect right there. Oh shoot, can this bus actually turn around? No, okay. Let's get it a road such that it can. Okay, good. Um, so that will connect to there for now. And then off here, I want this just to go like that so that's a kind of entrance for the buses over there and then we also need one on the other side so I assume this should work I hope No, it actually doesn't want to. Okay, we need a... Okay, well, let's try it over here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what if we do that? Okay, I don't understand that. Oh wait, maybe it's just saying. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's actually where I miss fine road heights. Sorry for not saying anything. Um, I'm just trying to concentrate on getting this all to work. But that's kind of the road system that the buses are going to get out by. So they can come in, get out, and they can come in, get out. All right, and then we can go ahead and do some lines. Um, well, they can go ahead and do their lines from the regular bus depot. I mean, they don't have to come from this one. Okay, so is there actually anybody in this parking lot? No, but there's actually no reason to go here at the moment, so I guess that's fair enough. So we're going to get a line that goes from there directly to this transport hub and back. And that's going to kind of have a ridiculous number of buses on it. Oh, it actually wants only one? That's strange. Only one bus for that freaking huge line? Union. What is this area called? It doesn't have a name, does it? How would it be called the Union Sterling Express? And this whole and this whole area will be sterling. It doesn't have a specialization, does it? No, we could go ahead and call it all sterling, honestly. Eh. Okay. Something like that. So it can all be sterling. There we go. So now there should be a bus that runs from Union to Sterling. Now let's see if we could find that bus. Oh, I think no, that's the local one. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it doesn't have anybody on it, but that's kind of to be expected. Yeah, that's definitely to be expected. <laughs> um. Because again, there's no reason to come here at the moment. Um, so now let's get another line that goes from there to our new area over here. And that doesn't have a name, so we'll leave it with the default name for now. Okay. Then we're going to get here to... Oriental Square. And where does the departing group from Oriental Square actually? It's actually from here, so you could go ahead and delete that one. Um, it's kind of a ridiculous line, as it has like um, um, so many buses on it. So if we find this route, it should actually be the one with the ridiculous number of vehicles. Uh huh, this one. Oh, I don't know why we didn't just do this. Delete that line. Line. Not much point in it. And it looks kind of shitty on our <laughs> transport map. Okay, so now we have a bus to Oriental Square, to here, to Sterling Square. Um, now we want one to up here, this transport hub. So 
so we can have it come. Oh, it can actually take that highway. Cool. So it could go there and back to Union. Okay, perfect. Then we can get more to Yeah, I could get one to this train station. Again, unsure of the name. Alright, and we can do one more. Well, we could fit more in there, no problem. Especially if we do it on both sides. Uh, so I was thinking we do one more to the uh, university. We'll actually just do this train station. And back. That way people have more options. So I'm really wondering if anybody will come use a union now. That's kind of the idea. I mean, there's one person, which is not bad. <laughs> um, but hopefully we should have a lot more people. Eventually. That's the idea, at least. Hmm. Oh, here's somebody. Okay, how'd these people actually get here? That's my question. How did they... They walk across this bridge. Because they definitely didn't leave their car here. Oops. Where are we? Oh, man. This zoom is getting ridiculous. They did not leave their car here. So that means they must have somehow walked here. Oh, here comes a garbage truck. But anyway, even if people are not using it right now, that's totally cool. Because ultimately the long distance bus lines, not much point in them I feel. How many... Okay, let's see. What? Some of these don't have vehicles? How does that work? I don't really understand that part. Okay, so this has one vehicle. This has... Hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. So this actually couldn't be fulfilled. Okay, there we go. Now we should see. Yeah, okay, now these. Oh, look, look, look. Holy crap. Okay, wait, there's people using it. I don't know where these people came from. I have no clue where they came from, actually. But there are totally people using these. Might want to increase the frequency on those later on. But I'm just wondering how people came to actually use those. How's the traffic in here? Okay, it's not too bad. Oh, shoot, it actually is kind of a bit bad. Oh, well, I guess some buses have to go out, so it's not that bad. Okay, so, yeah. Um, okay, so those people got picked up. Now there's people here waiting to... Oh, here come some buses. How many people is that? Ten. Okay, well, that's not optimal, but... It's better than nothing. So where are these people actually going to go? Aha! Aha, aha, aha. Where are you going to go? Oh, sh Oh, okay, so... Oh, so these people are actually waiting for a different line. Where does this line go, then? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Is it this one? No, this one. Where is this going? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's actually working then. That's working very nicely. So now there's people there waiting too. Okay, so buses are starting to transfer people around. Um, I honestly thought some car traffic would come from here, but I suppose not. But people are definitely using this to transfer buses. And they might actually prefer it over the train because it might take them less time. Let's wait for another bus to come in here. And I'm curious how full it will be, especially depending on which bus it is that comes back. Um, so let's just give it a little wait. And then we will end the episode there. Um, oh, we actually have some residential demand. Might work on that next, ep next episode. Kind of have this be a procedural build, like step by step. Um, here and there, just do some work on it. But yeah, let's wait for this bus. Okay, so here comes a bus. 85. Okay, so that bus line we're actually going to want to increase the number of vehicles okay wait pause 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 i want to see if i keep losing it okay here it is okay so that has a trash problem that's okay though Okay, here comes the red bus, 85. Okay, that's one, that's eight. But the red bus, two. We can add a vehicle there. Okay, where are all of these people going to? So they're honestly just transferring back and forth. That is very cool stuff to see. So these long distance buses are actually doing something. Which is very cool. Anyway, thank you for the suggestion. Big, big time. Um, thank you for the suggestion, Nuke and Spy. That's an amazing suggestion. It's such a good thing to build. Um, should be tons of fun. It's turning out really nice already. And it seems to be utilized, even though we barely added anything to it. So, um, yeah, next time we'll just give it a little incinerator or something here. Um, we'll get fire services in, and hopefully we'll begin the train lines. But first, maybe some more residential next episode. Anyway, um, that will be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for all the suggestions and likes and support and everything. Keep them, keep them coming. So yeah, as usual, please leave a like down below if you uh, enjoyed. Come on, you know the drill. Um, subscribe for more. And this one's full too. And yeah, have a great day. Have a great, great, great day. Okay, I'm wondering, before we go... Yeah, nobody uses this thing at all. And they can get to it, right? Like, they can walk through the park. I'm wondering why nobody chooses to take the car. But you know what? I ain't even mad. No cars? Good thing. Anyway, yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching. Um, this has been a really fun episode to make, and so should the next big bunch. They should be really, really cool. Um, like, just look at this road, especially with this red pavement. Anyway, um, been long enough. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.